Hello everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we will be talking about uh, that area that is in the Caribbean highlighted for possible development. And so development is becoming increasingly likely because we have the chance increasing. And so we'll be talking about all of that, what is expected, where will be impacted. And in the long term, will this be a problem for Jamaica? So we'll be taking a look at all of that in today's update video. And so before before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. And to show your support for the channel, you can leave a like on this video. Alright, and so let's go ahead and kickstart things with, of course, the five-day graphical tropical weather outlook. And so we're seeing here that we have these two areas uh, that are highlighted. One has an X and the other doesn't. And the reason uh, the Caribbean disturbance that area in the Caribbean doesn't have an X is because that low-pressure area has not yet developed. However, it is expected to do so as we're going to be heading into the next few days. And then by early next week, uh, we could see the system developing possibly into a tropical depression maybe a tropical storm afterwards and then as for the disturbance up to the north we're seeing here that there is a 40 percent chance of possible development so the chance was at 50 percent but it has decreased so the longer the system takes to develop the more unlikely it will be that we will actually be seeing something become of this because conditions are expected to become unfavorable as you're going to be headed into the end of this week and so uh the system is going to be drifting around out in the Atlantic and uh, as I said it could develop it could acquire some subtropical characteristics and become a subtropical cyclone out there and if it is close enough to Bermuda then it could bring some inclement weather to the island so if you're there you might want to be aware of that happening as you're going to be heading into the next several days okay and so looking at the satellite view of the Atlantic Basin. Here we have all of this activity uh, across the Caribbean and extending into portions of the Atlantic. That is all in association with the trough that is in the region. And there is quite a bit going on as well out in the main development region, but no area is marked out there for possible development. So let's take a closer look at the Caribbean. And so uh, we're seeing here that as for the central and western sections of the basin we're seeing that we're not really seeing much going on a little bit of shower and thunderstorm activity across some sections of El Salvador, Honduras. We also see some activity off the coast of Costa Rica and Panama over in the Pacific but aside from that we're not really seeing anything of great significance over in the western and central portions of the Caribbean basin and that is because there is dry stable conditions across those regions so nothing major is happening there but as we go towards the eastern uh, Caribbean we're seeing that there is quite a bit of activity taking place within the region and so looking at the northeastern uh, region where we have all that activity in association with the trough there we're seeing that Puerto Rico is likely getting a bit of rainfall right now the western portion of the island that is uh, we see some activity dissipating in the vicinity of uh, the Virgin Islands as well as Vieques and Culebra and then as for the Leeward Islands not much is going on maybe some passing clouds and maybe uh, they have with them a shower or two but nothing major right now things are uh, things have improved in the area since yesterday because yesterday there was a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity going on but that could pop up again and here we're seeing more activity across the southeastern portion of the Caribbean we see all of that shower and thunderstorm activity off the coast of Venezuela and uh, there is also the chance that sections of Trinidad and Tobago are feeling some impacts in terms of rainfall you can let me know in the comments if you are in any of those regions what's happening there but uh, as for the rest of the Windward Islands are not seeing much going on. Again, those passing clouds, uh, same story for Barbados. So that is what is going on right now across the Caribbean. And so guys, in addition to the trough that is inducing all of the activity right now in the Eastern Caribbean, there is also a tropical wave in the area. And so that is going to be helping to enhance uh, the weather even more. And so areas such as the Virgin Islands, as well as Puerto Rico, and even portions of Hispaniola can experience uh, a lot of increased rainfall and so all of that can induce flooding so when there are extensive periods of very heavy rainfall then flooding is possible across flood prone areas so guys please be aware of that happening and please do not take 
any unnecessary risks and exercise caution as you're going to be heading into the next couple of days. But we have that disturbance, that era that is highlighted where we could possibly see some development. And what is the latest forecast for this? What are the models showing? So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And so we're starting off with, of course, the GFS. And this is a map showing the isobars, which are the black lines, their lines of equal pressure. And so when they're in a circular manner with the pressure being at least 10, 30 millibars or lower, then that could be a tropical cyclone. And the closer we see those uh, isobars in a circular manner, that that is indicating a stronger system and uh, as well as a lower pressure. So the lower the pressure is, the stronger the system. So uh, these colors, they indicate the precipitation rate. And uh, we're seeing here that for the GFS going to Monday of next week, we see the system intensifying a bit, then uh, making somewhat of a west-southwest or track across sections of the Western Caribbean and making its way towards Central America. And to be specific, uh, maybe along the coastline of uh, Honduras and Nicaragua. But as for the Atlantic system, uh, we're not seeing where GFS is expecting a whole lot from. It's maybe a bit of development, but nothing very major. And the model is also expecting some more development after the current disturbance would have made its way through the region and over to Central America. So this is interesting here. And here we're seeing big changes. As I emphasized in previous videos, changes are inevitable when it comes on to these predictions. And nothing is going to be really solid just yet so uh, we have to really wait until that low pressure area develops then we'll see the best uh track of the system or the best possible track but of course the long term is always uncertain because there can always be so many changes with the system and so let's move on to euro and here we have euro showing that low pressure areas are going to be heading into sunday monday uh euro is showing that this is going to sort of be struggling passing close to jamaica there and it's struggling to really get itself together so euro isn't really showing those closed isobars and uh, we're not seeing a strong system but it doesn't that is not even required because systems as uh, minor as tropical waves have resulted in some uh, serious destruction across some areas and flooding as well so a strong cyclone isn't needed for impacts to be quite uh destructive and so as for the icon here we are seeing icon showing that low pressure areas are going to be heading to monday tuesday and showing the system making a very close approach to the island of jamaica by the end of this model run so this is very interesting here what we're seeing we're not seeing where jamaica is in this shaded region but uh, if uh, this is really to track where the center of the system is going to be headed. And so even if the center of it is not going to be moving over Jamaica, if the system is going to be having a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity in association with it, uh, and it's in close proximity to the island, then there could still be some periods of very heavy rainfall, which can induce flooding. But of course, that is uh, several days from now. And so there can be a lot of changes. But of course, guys, I'm going to be keeping you updated on all that is happening with the system here. And so that is really it for this update video. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be with wise.